ladies and gentlemen, this is Aditi Ghosh on your favorite Pythagorean numerology channel, Inner World Revealed. But in this vlog, we are not going to talk about numerology today. We are rather going to have a look at your forehead. Very popular logs are basically face reading and physiognomy logs. For instance, I'd covered a log on what your eyes tell about you and what the shape of your nose tell about you. And if you are interested in watching those logs, you can definitely click on the i button and watch them. And many of you have been requesting me out there to forward this subject a little further, which I had not been getting a chance to do. So today here I am doing the needful. But because I'm covering this topic after a very long span of time, let me give you a very small introduction on this subject. And I would say that physiognomy or face reading, the art of face reading is basically predicting a person's character through the features that are present in their face. And it's not a fad, it's not something very new, it dates back to medieval ages. And uh, it says that whatever you are, the ways in which you think is reflected in your body through your face. Often we look at others without really understanding them or without really seeing them. We believe the image that they try to project in front of our eyes without getting to know who they really are. But if you are getting acquainted, if you familiarize yourself with these mystical sciences like numerology, physiognomy, also graphology, there are many such sciences. If you familiarize yourself with them, you're actually going to see the real person behind the projection and you're going to see them for who they are and not for what they project before you or what you expect them to be. So a very important part of physiognomy is the forehead because it's one of the three grand divisions. The other two being the nose, nose and the eye area and the mouth area. These are the other two divisions. And being one of the very important grand divisions, it shows how your brain interacts with the nerves. And as a result, it reflects how you think, how you think about life, how you think about everything that you deal with so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple of foreheads I'm going to show you the pictures and explain to you in brief how each of the forehead person would be thinking so let's go ahead so the first kind of forehead that we're going to talk about is the round forehead and this kind of a forehead, a person with this kind of a forehead is often seen to be very good with people. Often you would see them having very long term relationships and friendships with people and they really know how to manage people. They're more of people's person. People like them very much. Our next variety of forehead would be the square forehead person. And this kind of a person is going to be more of a goal driven person, more of a go getter. This person is going to be very efficient and very career driven kind of a person and in relationships this person on an emotional level is going to be a bit unavailable and kind of a bit distant because that's not going to be their main area of focus because they are more of career oriented people. Now let's come to our third kind of forehead and in terms of physiognomy we call it the widow's peak and this is a very common kind of a forehead which you might have seen on many people and when you see this kind of a forehead you must know that this person is going to be a very casual minded person this person would not like to take a lot of pressure or stress and would not like to be told how this person should be doing their work they would like to dress up more casually they won't like formal wear much and they would like to uh, lead a more of a stress-free and a casual life. They want to do their things in their own way. Now, when I speak of the widow speak, I would also like to include another kind of a forehead, which would be a forehead with an uneven hairline. And a person with this kind of a forehead is seen to be having 
a troubled or kind of a chaotic childhood and often when you see a person like this you uh, would come to know slowly that this person perhaps has a lot of siblings for which the person was deprived of attention from their parents or perhaps they had very aggressive parents who were very hard to deal with and because they had to deal with these issues of security coming from their birth parents later on in their life when they go ahead and deal with authority figures they have problems in dealing with them and they often feel a bit insecure about their position in life now let's move on and come to another very interesting feature which is very common and this would be vertical lines above the nose on the forehead and there could be one line or two lines and each of the case would mean something different say for instance if you have a person with one line one vertical line above the nose on the forehead what it would mean is this person would be a very independent thinker and this person is going to take pride in his or her individuality and uh, the person would choose to do something very different from others from what their ancestors have been doing in the past this person would do something completely of their own and take great pride in their achievements and individuality and also expect others to respect them for uh, the kind of independence that they have shown in their lives the second variety would be having two vertical lines on the forehead and this would mean a very very analytical thinker with very strong concentration their concentration would be so strong whenever that they would be getting into some subject they would be probably completely getting into it getting into the depths of the subject forgetting to eat and forgetting to sleep and un unless and until they would be done with that subject they would be finding it very difficult to come out of it so having two lines would mean very very strong concentration and very very strong attention to details so now that we have talked about the vertical lines on the forehead now let's move on to the horizontal lines and often you might have seen people with wide horizontal lines running on top of their forehead and this kind of line means that these people are very good with money they have accumulated a lot of wealth a lot of prosperity through their logical thinking and uh, because they are very good with analyzing the opportunities and they're very good with understanding where to invest and where not to and the sense of handling businesses and the sense of handling finances is very strong in these people now coming to another category of foreheads which would be having tiny wisps of fair on both sides of the forehead and when you see a person having something like this you should know you should immediately know that their mother has a very strong impact in their life the impact could be positive could be negative but the impact definitely is or has been very strong so what happens is when in the future in their lives when they deal with females who are in authority positions what they see them to be is they see these females to be reflections of their mothers who dealt with or are dealing with right now now let's come to the final category of forehead which would be the height of the forehead and you can have a person with a very high forehead you can have a person with a very low forehead or the person could have the forehead which would be anywhere in the middle of the spectrum now what it means is when you see a high forehead what it means is the person is more of a planner and more of a strategist as compared to a person with a low forehead a person with a low forehead would be more likely to act on their impulses and would be more likely to act or believe in their intuitions however the person with the high forehead would be very skeptical they would take time to think very deeply before they act on anything so ladies and gentlemen i hope you liked watching this vlog if so please don't forget to hit the like button my channel is primarily a numerology channel but from time to time i also happen to cover some 
other mystical sciences like physiognomy, graphology, etc. If you really like my vlogs, I think you're also going to really like my books, which once again are numerology books, but with a little twist. I'm not going to give you a spoiler right now. But I can assure this much that no other book has dealt with the subject in the same way as I've dealt with. So definitely check them out. The links are being provided in the description box below. And last but not the least, if you really like my logs and haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to press the bell icon after you do that. Most of the people who watch my logs haven't subscribed to me yet and you know your support your love means a lot to me so definitely remember to show support and love if you really care for the channel that'll be all for today have a very good time bye bye